Hi. Hey, Jean, how are you? Hopefully you're having a great night. We are going to do something for the men in our lives. Um, oh, thank you for sprinkling the love. You know, for this month, all of the sprinklers of the love get entered into a wheel every night or every day before my live. I enter folks into this wheel and then on my live, I draw a name because for every live this month, we are giving away a prize pack. I think, yeah, yours was one of the ones I mailed out yesterday. So Jean, you're one of the ones that I mailed out the prize pack. Lynn, I think yours went yesterday too. All the prize packs went yesterday. So how are y'all today? Hopefully y'all are doing well. Um, I got a couple things to show you. I got a few things to show you actually. And um, I've got to clean a couple of my brushes. I was working like crazy right up to the time of my live. And I had to grab all my stuff and run downstairs because I was upstairs. Hey, Cindy. Yes, I do have a crazy schedule this month. It is crazy. It is crazy. And it's been, it's been a bear. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. It's been, it's been a bear. But I want to show you some cute things. And so I always want to wait for a couple people to hop on. And I'm looking forward to hop on so they can see this. So I will announce, you know, next week we're painting Dolly, right? And so we are painting Dolly. This is what we're going to do. Um, it's free. You can just go. You'll see an event. Hit going. There's a there's actually a post that has the private group to join where you get the tracer. You get all the stuff. I did this today. This is what we're going to do. And I was reminded we're going to have to add some bling to this. So we're going to have to figure out what we're going to bling up on her. Um, yay, Cindy. Yep. It takes it out of clothing. It takes hand sanitizer. I'm telling you, it's a godsend if you get your paint on your clothing. It will it'll take it right out. Long as you do not wash and dry. If you wash and dry the clothing, it's there. You're not going to get it out. But if you don't wash it and dry it, then hand sanitizer will take the paint right out. So will I see G watching. So will G's wipes. Yeah, that's what I said. So will your wipes. Your wipes are so much more than that. <laughs> your wipes are great when you get the resin on your clothing or the resin in your hair. Um, but yeah, we're going to paint Dolly. So get that on your schedule. It's next week. It's like three nights next week. It's going to be live on my page. We're going to have a blast and you're going to love her just like we did Johnny Depp. So remember, sprinkle the love. You sprinkle the love, your name gets entered in for a drawing. For those of you that are here that are in my private group, here is the painting that is coming for that. Um, so I hope y'all love it. This month's all about the men in our lives. And so this is the fishing lures. These were actually three lures I found in my hubby's um, fishing um, tackle box. I've got them right here. See, here's the little... Here's the little ball thing, bobber, it's called, I think. I don't know the proper terms, but I think it's a bobber. It keeps your, it keeps it from like, it, 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 it's like when you're fishing for catfish and you know if they caught on because it does this in the water, it floats on the water and then it does that on the water and you know you've got something, but see like this one is this one, this guy right there. And then this one is that guy right there. And then ugh, 
they get caught up on each other and I'm going to end up hooking my own self. And then this one is this guy over here. So there, no, is that right? Yeah, yeah, see the red belly? He's there, there he is, right there. Anyway, but that's the painting for this month in my private group. One of the ones, the other one's coming, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bass. A spring hook bobber, there you go. And so, <laughs> yeah, no, be careful, right? Those things, they go in easy. They don't come out as easy as they go in, do they? They hurt. Yes, it's perfect for Father's Day. So, got, and I got some new decoupage papers today. Not the ones I showed the other day that I'm getting. They're on their way. But these are actually on sale on my page now. Um, I got a train. I got this in a couple sizes, a larger size and a smaller size, the A4 and A3. I've got, this is going to be amazing. I don't know. I don't know which way is up and which way is down on this thing because I don't know. But I think, I think it goes like that. It's an astronomical clock. You know, we painted one of these in, on our live one time with an owl. Um, and then we have, I have this one that has the watches. I have a plan for that. I love this one because y'all know me and my texture backgrounds. I love that. And I think this one goes like that. That looks like it's blingy and it's just paper. And then there's this one. I love the Paris. I've got a plan. Oops. I got a plan for these. There's like Paris postcards and stuff. And then a world map. And then I think this is just fun comics. So we're going to do something fun with that one. I don't know what yet. And then this one. And I've got these in a couple of different sizes. I've got actually one A3 that isn't in here. Um, of a cabinet but you're going to see that we're going to do something with that one so you'll see that at a later date mm -hmm. so that was those and we're going to get busy they're on my page and they're already 20 percent off so they are on sale i picked them up while well, i could get them they are i don't know if they're discontinued or not but um they are on sale and so right now it does not it just says like special price it doesn't say um and it's a special price that we could extend to our customers because we're told what prices that we have to have these papers for and those were a special price that we could extend to our customers so i bought some to do that thank you for sprinkling the love all right so tonight's piece I've got an eight by 16 that we're going to use tonight. And we're gonna do some fun stuff with this. I think y'all are gonna love it. At least I hope you're gonna love it. And so, like I said, this is for the man in our life, but actually it could be for a woman too. It's really not just man specific. Um, although I know it'd be approved for a man cave. And so this is the inspiration where the background is the inspiration. And then we are gonna put a guitar, but we're gonna put like an acoustic guitar instead of an electric guitar. But I love, I love, love, love the idea of this background. And so we're gonna do something similar with the background. Um, and so, and then it has the, the guitar we're gonna put on top of it. So, I was inspired by this um, background. Y'all like this background? I hope you do. I hope it's not a night. I swear I have um, so over it. The um, comments, like I, I don't see half of the comments and it, it just, it drives me crazy because I want to have, I want to talk to y'all and I want to hear what you're saying. And then I go back like, Tonight I was looking through um, 
the live from last night. Oh, we got to do the wheel. I almost forgot to do the wheel. Um, oh, gee, good. It's going to be a fun project. I swear it's going to be fun. Hey, Brenda, how are you? Um, so we got to do the wheel. Let me pull the, let me pull the wheel up. Let me get it up here. Where is it at? There it is. Let me find tonight's, the one for, whoops, open. 17th was the one. So there's all the sprinklers of the 17th. And we're going to hit that button and spin that wheel. Who is our lucky lady? Christy. Christy Reynolds is our lucky lady of the night. I think that's the second time she has won, isn't it? I don't think so. I think I just mailed out one to her. So lucky, lucky Lady Christy. Um, and so I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. Y'all tell me what y'all want. I will not be able to go live to, on Friday for my lunchtime live. I've got some plans. Um, it's my birthday on Friday. And I'm going to go with my dad to this Vietnam Memorial thing he has to do. And I just feel like it's you know, um, I need to do that with him. So I won't be live for lunchtime because that's right at like 11 o'clock and it lasts for like two hours. <laughs> so um, it's, you know, it's a great thing. And I, and, I, and I love to be there and support him. He was in the war. And so like, it means a lot to him to go and lay these wreaths. And so I want to be there. But the second hand, the other part, it's not so much the thing. It's it's a nice, very nice ceremony, very nice thing. But you're sitting on this hill in the dead sun, and it's supposed to be like eighty seven degrees, sunny. So it's hot, and you're like, and I roast like a marshmallow. I burn up, and so you know, and you kind of have to dress up. You can't just like wear shorts and t shirt and be comfortable. <laughs> Yes, I am going to enjoy my birthday. So anyway, um, so I think we're going to do that and we'll probably get some lunch afterwards or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what he'll want. Sometimes, sometimes he wants that and sometimes he doesn't. So who knows what he'll want, but whatever he wants, we'll do. Um, my, the rest of my family is going to be um, away my niece and my nephew have a skating competition. And so they're going to be doing that. Let me just get this big enough so y'all can see this whole thing. And y'all going to have to just see my mess, okay? Yes, my desk is a mess. I know, I need something. I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird when you talk about that. So this is my inspiration if you didn't see it. The background we're going to do something like that for this background we're going to make it kind of wild but kind of kind of I, I don't know exactly what it's going to turn out or how it's going to turn out I think I'm going to use some palette knives some water just just kind of like just put the paint on there in all kind of ways and just see how it turns out we're just gonna throw stuff on a canvas <laughs> I had a lady tell me that one time she came to a show I was at and and she was looking at my stuff and, you know, my glass art and all my stuff. And she was like, you just take, and she actually said the word and throw it on a canvas, don't you? And I'm like, mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, that's what I do. <laughs> so anyway, so that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to have some fun. I'm just going to grab a couple of my larger palette knives. I don't know which one I want to use yet, but I'm just, I know I'm going to want to use some sort of a scraping thing. Hey, Ari, how are you? So if you didn't see, this is my inspiration. We're going to do the background. 
And then we're gonna actually put a guitar on it, but we're gonna put an acoustic guitar on it. We're gonna do something like that. It's just, it probably, it's not gonna look anywhere near like that probably when we're done. <laughs> but, so I'm just gonna plop down because we don't care, right? I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna plop down some Santa Red. Did it snow by you, Lynn? Oh, I'm like, nope, it has not snowed here. It's in the 80s here. I, I don't wanna rub that in. <laughs> I don't wanna rub that in. Nothing like rubbing it in, huh? Hey, Ari, how are you? We're just gonna, we're putting blobs on the canvas, guys. Everybody can do this. This is something that like legit, like everybody can do. That was a little bit of, um, what are you on my canvas? Get off there, off, off, off. Um, that was a little peacock teal, and this is teal mint. I've even got some like really bright green here called happy green. How you know you're happy? Because you use this green. That's how you know you're happy. Let's not talk about snow. She's like, let's not talk about that. I totally would be over it too. I would be headed south if I was, oh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a big fan of snow. Oh, yay for Tyler. Give him a little high five for me for winning. That's fun. We want a little bit of darkness, right? So we're gonna put a little bit of black up on there, probably a little too much, but that's all right. We're gonna have fun in just a minute with all of this stuff we've got going on. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. <sighs> I'm just trying to hit it and miss it with a little color. Several kind of holidays the other day, now ready to play. Yay, Cindy. So tell me how is, well, maybe we shouldn't talk about the weather because she was like, don't talk about it. Don't even go there. Oop, not what I meant to do, but that's okay. Not what I meant to do. We'll just pop up that and put some up here and put some down here okay all right that's marina mist y'all know me and my marina mist when i want something to have a little bit of glow i love that marina mist hey sherry how are you so didn't order it ffs <laughs> yeah I'm probably sure you're done with it as well, right? Like, it's not like we order this stuff. It's like, it just happens. Yeah. Oh my, that looking like a hot mess, but I'm actually really loving it. Even though it looks like a hot mess. That's kind of what this looks like, right? I mean, it kind of does remind you of a hot mess. So we're just gonna use this and we're gonna just keep on scraping. Now I kind of don't, if I see it mixing a lot, I'm gonna just like wipe my palette knife off because I don't want that. I want to see, I want, it's okay if it mixes a little bit, but I want to see the individual blobs of paint. And so we're just going to do that. And then I'm going to put a few more blobs and we're going to add some water and we're going to let it um, just kind of like chill a little bit. What do y'all say? Y'all liking this? 
I don't know. Jury's out. <laughs> the jury is out as to how much I'm liking this. But I think I do like it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it at the end of the day. Loving on the green. I know, right? That green is amazing. And I'm putting these blobs, and there are blobs. And I'm going to actually use a little smaller knife, and I'm going to, because I want to leave it a little blobby. And I want to leave it a little splotchier. Oh, look at that. Now, we're going to see if we can create some magic here. And I need to figure out how to hold it so y'all can see it the best. Oh, that's the good. <laughs> All of a sudden, something just went up my in my mouth. Not up. I mean, it's not like something flew, but it was like just something took my breath. <laughs> I mean, these paints don't have any. Um, they don't have any um, odor. So I don't know what it was. It was just like something just went whoosh and just took my breath. I'm just gonna let it run. Told y'all it's going to look a little bit different than what y'all are used to seeing. And it is looking a lot different. All right, let's see. I think it's going to be cool when we're done, right? We're not done yet. Don't worry if you're doing this and you have a spot of like white canvas still, because we're going to just keep doing this until we get what we want. You notice I'm kind of just wiping off some of that like gray mud looking like stuff. I'm just wiping it off. Because you know, if you make certain colors together, you're going to get mud. And so it's okay. Nice long strokes all the way down. I mean, anybody can do this, guys. And just wipe your wipe your palette off, knife off, so you kind of start fresh. And it's kind of one of those things, you know, you've heard the saying, you get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. Well, this is kind of like that. You, you, to some degree, don't have a whole, whole lot of control, especially if you add a lot of colors like I did. I mean, we added a ton of colors on there. I don't even know all the colors. We got the vivid blue. We got the, and now's the time. It does. Today was the first time she was out and about with her portable oxygen. Oh, oh, hold on. Let me go back and see. It's been a busy day. After taking my mom to the pulmonary associates for appointment, today was the first time she was out with her portable oxygen. Well, hopefully she did okay with that. Um, it kind of does remind you of an old boat, doesn't it? <laughs> could be like water sky or water sky I don't know anyway 
I'm kind of loving on it. Now that we've got it kind of going. Before I was not loving on it too much. But I do like how it's like this red and this warm on this side. And then it's like that cool on that side. I am loving that. And so we're going to put a couple more blobs because we don't have enough paint down. <laughs> Aren't you just loving that? Oh, see, I told you about that glow that Marina missed. Guys, look at that. Mm. That is just, hmm. That is to die for. Oh, cool. Well, these, this is just a fun way. Anybody can do this with these, with palette knives. Like this is just the background we're doing. I want these pops of color. I want bright pops of color. So now what I want to do is even though everything is still extremely wet, I'm going to start putting in blobs of color just like that. I'm going to pick up like that was teal mint. My next color I want to pick up is this peacock teal. We're going to just start to put little blobs of color right on top. And it doesn't have to be a whole lot. We're, we're not looking for like a big section. We just want some bright pops to be on top of what we've got going on. We may even put like some, a dark spot here and there. Um, now our guitar is going to take up a lot of the space. So, you know, consider that, that the guitar is going to take up a lot of space. And so you're not going to see a lot of this. Teal is one of my favorite colors. It is mine too. It is absolutely mine also. One of my favorite colors is teal. I have a, I use it a lot in my home decor because it just makes me happy. It's one of those colors that just make me happy. Red is probably my favorite color. If you were to ask me like, what is your favorite color? I would say red is my favorite color because I love red all the time. But teal, I don't decorate with red. Teals are what I decorate with. I don't want a whole lot of you. And I'm afraid you're gonna come out a whole bunch cause you got a little, it's got a little paint yucky up in there. That's like making me squeeze it really hard to get any out. And I'm afraid the whole thing's gonna go blap. So I'm just gonna put some there. And then just kind of pull in some dark in there. It is hard to get the skippy look, but you just, it doesn't matter. You just throw it on there. <laughs> throw it on there. All right, I'm going to draw this and see what we have. And then if I want to add any more, we can come back and we can add some on top and just, you know, kind of do the skippy method. But I also kind of wanted a little bit, not a whole lot, but a little bit of this texture that this is now giving me. You don't want it like, before I had a lot of texture and I pulled off a lot of that, but I just have a little bit now.
So you're gonna have to tell me about this Timu. I see it on all the time, Timu. I have not ordered any anybody. I mean, you you so you ordered from Timu. Is this your first time ordering from Timu, or did you order from Timu before? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Is that how you say it? Timu, Timu. I have never ordered anything from it. I've seen some cool stuff, but I have never ordered anything from it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, do you get the stuff or is it just like a rip off thing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't trust y'all everything. How fun is this background, guys? I feel like you could do so much with this background. Like, just so much with it. Oh, cool. Now, does it take like a long time to get it? Ordered three times so far, and I love everything I got except the top. When I went in to return it, they just said give it away and gave me credit. So that's cool. I hope so. Didn't like my question post. Hold on, let me see. I, I probably didn't see it, G. It's hard to get that skippy look when it's wet. No, it's not. You just just pull the knife and it'll it just does it for you. Don't don't play with the knife. Just just you saw me just scrape the knife and go. Put the knife down and go. You get what you get. And then you just go over top of it if you don't like it. Ten day delivery time, really? Oh, you asked about that website. I don't know. I'm, I know nothing about it. I'm gonna have to order something and see if I like it. I see like they're like people doing their team new hauls on Facebook, and I was like, hmm, okay. But then my mom was like, I don't know what this thing is. I ordered. I don't know what this is. She's like, I'm gonna have to go back and look at my order form and figure it out. I'm like, all right, that doesn't sound like kind of thing. <laughs> Jay, you got hit by my bougie automation. It hurts, picked up the word website and it's like, yeah, I'll give you my website. Where I have like a big paint line, I'm just taking my finger as it's drying and just pulling it out. I want a little bit of texture, but I don't want like a big thick paint line texture drying. Anymore. I will say when you do this method, because it is so wet and has so much paint, it does take a minute to, to dry. Make sure when you do this, you have a little bit of dark and you have a little bit of light too. You know, I used that Marina mist. I did put a little touch of white, but then I used the Marina Mist, which is a very, it's, y'all know I love Marina Mist. Y'all know I love that color because it's a, like if you're doing any kind of nighttime, anything, and you need that like glow from a moon, you can get that from Marina Mist. Marina Mist just has a glow. It glows. I saw it. <laughs> oh, Ari, thank you for those stars. My girlfriend, that is so generous of you. Thank you.
Yeah, Marina Mist. It's a folk art product. It's a folk art paint called Marina Mist. It's perfect for nighttime. If you want to like make a moon glow, it's the perfect paint. Or if you just want to put a pop of glow in something. So you can see here where it's looking like it's so light right in here, up in here. That's that marine over here. That's that marina mist playing. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I, I didn't get this area here at the bottom. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Look at that, guys. Look where I like straight back. Hold on. I'm not left-handed. Well, I kind of like that effect. I'm not getting any more, but right there where it did scrape some back, right there, it's going back too far. That's pretty cool. I like that for that bottom. You got three shipments last week. I also ordered molds. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, that's gonna be good enough. My hands are good enough. <laughs> My hands are good enough. I got it on my, I got paint on my phone. I got paint everywhere. <clears throat> See if I can use, oh, what did I do? Oh, 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 where, where did my comments go? Oh. <laughs> I don't think I invented that. I love it that you think I might have, but I don't think I invented this method. I think I'm just like <laughs> the millionth in one. No, yeah, interesting how you got up underneath there. Oh, I was, I hit when I held it up. Okay. I'm like, wait a minute. Blonde moment. I have them every now and then. I have a blind moment every now and then. I just want to get this up because I'll end up with it all over me. Because it's just wet paint. And it's not going to dry anytime soon on there. All right. You can go in there and you can go in there. All right, now I feel like I can, I can paint a little bit. Now time for the guitar. So we want to put this acoustic guitar on there. And I think it's going, that background is just going to pop it right off. What do y'all think? I think so. All right. So. I'm going to use some raw sienna and some burnt umber for this. And we're going to do the best we can with creating a guitar uh, freehand, you know? And so, where's my brush? Where is my brush? 
Who can guess what kind of brush I just grabbed? Oh. Did y'all see it? Y'all might have seen it. Who can guess what type of brush I grabbed? Extra point to those that um, can guess. Extra point. Well, yeah, it's gonna be paint, but, but the brush, the type of brush I just grabbed. You're like, you got paint? All right. Can't believe nobody knows this. Nobody, nobody knows this. Nope, not a flat, not the joy. I'm drawing. I'm going to draw out the um Yep, Brenda, you nailed it. When I draw on a canvas and I freehand unless it's something that's so tiny I don't have an angle brush small enough to do it, I'm going to grab an angle brush. Well, I wasn't showing. I I wasn't um <laughs> show it and so if I am drawing on a canvas freehand I'm going to use an angle because an angle brush allows me to use it like a pencil and so we're gonna start just by kind of laying it out we want to have our bottom be somewhere down here I don't want it to go all the way to the bottom bottom but we want to be like pretty much on that bottom so it's going to come like down in here our bottom and we know it's going to round up and it's going to come in and it's going to come in but I got to make sure I have enough room for my the neck and then the top part at the top if I cut the top part off the top off you know what it's going to be just fine so I'm not we're too worried about that. Yeah, D, uh, try angles. You will love them, especially if you are trying to freehand stuff. Um, I love them because they allow me just to use them like I would a pencil. And I know technically you could use every brush the way you use a pencil, but I don't know. It's something about the angle brush that I like when I'm freehanding. And I go to it every time. Okay, so that's going to be our bottom. I'm kind of liking how we got our curve coming up here. All I'm thinking about right now is structure and size. And so that's all I'm thinking about now. The the neck of it has to be in the center. So I've got to make sure I've got the thing sitting in the center because, you know, the hole is going to come up in here in the center and then the little part and then the handle. And so I'm pretty sure I want the top to be somewhere in this right here. So I'm going to move over a little bit and I'm just going to kind of make a little mark and I'm going to move over on this side a little bit and I'm going to make a little mark. I'm just doing those little marks just just so I can kind of like gauge it out. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to pick up a little bit of burnt umber and actually I might just pick up a little bit of black. Okay, got my center. I know somewhere in here is going to be my handle, my handle of my guitar. I don't know what that's called. Is it called a handle? Is it called, what is it called? The arm? What is it called? We'll worry about thickness in a minute.
So the neck. Okay, the neck. Thank you. I know nothing about a guitar. Mm -hmm. I just know we're painting one. <laughs> Okay, and here's where it's going to get a little bit wider. It just goes a little bit wider. So we're just going to go like that. And we're just going to kind of make a little mark there. Because then it kind of just, it kind of goes up. And then it comes to a little like kind of curved point at the top. Right? Something like that. We're only... You know, we're not really like, okay, I'm going to draw a guitar. I mean, we are, but at the same time right now, I'm just like, okay, I need a line that's a little bit wider. I need a curved top. We're going to get somewhere in that center, right? So this is, this is how I talk myself through all of like what I'm drawing. I need a straight line. I need it to be thick I need it to be whatever well stick with us and you will learn all you need to know about painting well I don't know about all you want to know I mean there's a million teachers out there that teach a lot different a lot more detailed a lot better than me so but I'll teach you what I know Okay, we want to come down into, remember we've made these little marks, we want to come down into our part of our guitar. We're going to come down almost not quite to the center because there, the hole is kind of in that center area, but we're just going to kind of come down a little ways. We've still got to figure out where that hole is and then we'll figure out where we're coming down to. You own a guitar, but you can't play it. Girlfriend, you go take you some lessons. I'm pretty sure they have lessons like at the community center or um, through the through your local city. I don't know where it does. You can come up here and do them through our city. They have lessons that you can take. I don't own a guitar. <clears throat> I used to play a piano years ago. Years ago, I used to play a piano. Um, but that's been a that's been a long time. That's that's uh well they say another lifetime, right? All right, we need a curve up here. Some say a guitar is just like lady curves so that's all we're doing is we create lady curves and we're just going to kind of try to mirror it as best we can you know sometimes mirroring is hard But we just want to go in and basically out the same. And you can see this side is not the same as that side. This side I did a whole lot better with my lady curves. But it's okay. We can fix it somewhat. be like we're just going to paint this whole thing in so we can see what we got going on and we can see what we need to adjust now because this is where we you know we just kind of like work to to make it all the same we may need to make our neck a little wider that's okay we can cover this up
We got a hole in here somewhere. I'm just gonna take some brown. This is burnt umber. And I'm just gonna like, it's usually like down in this area here, kind of where the lady curves are. And I'm just gonna paint it dark brown. We're gonna add black, but I want the dark brown that's gonna kind of like go around it. Some sort of a circle, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. So now you've been too sick. Yeah, I get that. Well, maybe now that you're feeling better, though, you can you can do that. That would be pretty awesome. Air Sun had a guitar. He used to play. He had um he had an acoustic and then he had um an electric also. I don't think he's probably picked it up in years. He probably doesn't have it anymore, to be quite honest. Y'all still with me? Or am I just not seeing comments all of a sudden? Facebook has to go act weird for me sometimes. I'm not showing my comments. Makes me so mad. Because I want to talk to y'all and I want y'all talking to me. Y'all talking to each other. All that is good. One happy family. Having fun. I'm kind of liking the shape so far. Here just crafting. What you making? What you making good, girlfriend? I know you're probably making something cute. Y'all know I have a private group. Y'all could join the private group. It's free. I just don't do much with that private group, but it would be fun if y'all did and y'all could share what you're working on with each other and get to know each other. Y'all could do that. All right, so now we got a couple of structure issues. We need to widen out this part a little bit. We need to make our um, handle a little bit wider. Um, Because it's kind of wider at the bottom and then it narrows at the top. So we're going to widen it at the bottom, but we're going to keep basically the, the same um, at the top a little, a little narrower. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but it's a little bit. So we don't want to widen the top, but we do want to widen that bottom just a little bit. And that bottom just kind of goes right into that circle, okay? And so it's going to extend into the circle a little bit because we've got brown that actually goes around the circle. 
And then we're going to have the black circle. Made a lantern using a balloon, tissue paper, glue, and some sort of napkin. Oh, that's cool. That is awesome. We're going to put this hole in here. Remember I said we kind of have like this brown that goes around. So I, I want to leave like the same amount of space. So I'm just winging it, right? Oh, I'm loving it. What do y'all think? We'll put a second coat of the brown on here just to make sure we've covered up everything. But now I'm gonna pick up my little uh, liner brush here. I'm gonna go into this darker brown and I want to just even out this little circle that's gonna go, that's going around this. I'm also going to just put just the slightest little line. Look at that hearts are flying. Thank you, Teresa. We're just gonna make this a little bit. Stand out just a little bit more. We'll probably do this another time because I am gonna put a second coat of the lighter wood in there. You'll see when I come on this side, I don't have them exactly right, but that's okay. I'm gonna try to let this correct a little bit of my um, of my guitar so it looks a little a little bit better This is where you can just fix some stuff. Okay, yay. Now another coat of my raw sienna. This is raw sienna. I don't know if I accidentally said burnt sienna before. Me and siennas, we don't get along. We legit do not get along. I'm going to take it right up to that dark line, but I'm not, I'm trying my best not to go on top of it. <clears throat> Half the time I say burnt sienna when I mean raw sienna, and then if I mean raw sienna, I'm calling it, I mean, if I want burnt sienna, I'm calling it raw sienna. So me and sienna's, we don't get along. 
We're not best friends. Now, who was it that said their husband made, was it Sherry or Teresa that said their husband makes guitars from old boxes? I know it was one of you. I want to say it was Teresa, but I might have that wrong. It might be Sherry. I know one of you said that. Y'all told me that because I was like, that actually gave a little bit of this, um, the inspiration to do this. Because it's like, that would be a great man cave gift. And really, truly, everybody likes guitars. D, it was D. Okay. I could not remember. Is this Dolly's guitar? It could be. It could be Dolly's guitar. I didn't think about that, but that would be cool, wouldn't it? You could paint Dolly's guitar to go with Dolly. Because we will be painting her on. Here's what we're going to be painting next week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That is our inspiration. The butterflies and all. Because you know she loves her butterflies. And then D, uh, not D, Brenda reminded me earlier. She was like, you're going to put bling on her, right? And I'm like, sure, we could put bling on her. Hadn't thought about the bling. Not going to lie. Hadn't thought about it. But she, Brenda was like, well, it's Dolly. She's got to have bling. I'm like, yeah, she kind of does. So we're going to have to bling her out. Like, yep. I should have looked up what Dolly's guitar looked like. I never thought about it being Dolly's guitar. I just thought about it for a man cave. See, my brain doesn't work on a good day. Her favorite color is yellow. That's why it's like, plus I, you know, you see her in a lot of pink too. That's why the background is like yellow to pink ombre. So we're going to have fun with that background. I first started with an all yellow background, but then her hair just kind of like blended into it too much. And I didn't like it. And so that's when it was like, well, let's try an ombre. First, I was like, maybe, maybe I can find a yellow dress, but then all the yellow dresses, I did not like them. And so, yeah, to make this her, she would need to add a butterfly, but I'm not going to add a butterfly to this one because this is supposed to be for a man cave and that would be a little weird, but you can add one to yours. You can add one to yours, but you're right. In order to make this hers, you would have to do a little butterfly. But that would have been a really good idea, wouldn't it have been? It would have been a good idea. So we got the... I'm loving this, guys. We're gonna do the little darker circle around the around the hole. This is just burn umber. That is all I'm using. But this is like man cave approved, but it could be like like. Like Sherry was saying, you could put um, um, butterflies on it and make it Dolly's guitar since we are painting Dolly. 
and I might go back and do that later because I don't know what I'm giving my dad for Father's Day. I don't know. I, this doesn't fit in their house, so this isn't gonna. This isn't something that he would want in his house or in Mom Dad's house. Mom wouldn't want it. <laughs> I can tell you who wouldn't want it. Mom wouldn't want it. <laughs> I'll tell you who wouldn't want it. Mom be like, that doesn't fit. <laughs> So, all right, we're going to add the little bar down here that the, the um, strings go into. And so this is just a basic guitar, guys. It's not fancy. You can make yours as fancy as you want to make yours. Um, we're just doing a basic. Now, you know what? I love my angles. But you could add a butterfly on here. And I might just do that. And then you can decide whether you want to do, when you're doing yours, you could decide butterfly or no butterfly. <clears throat> we'll see what time it is. Are we doing good with time? It's only nine o'clock and we got our, we got most of our stuff on there. All right. <clears throat> yes, she did. I saw some of those too. I saw some of the, no, I mean, it didn't show anything, but when I was looking at, when I was scrolling pictures of her, I saw that and I was, I was like, what? Dolly up here is doing for the Playboy. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, I know you can get them teeny tiny and they are awesome. When, when you're using small detail, they are awesome when they're small like that. I got a little bit of sand gray. It's a very light gray. And that's what we're going to use for our things up here, I think. Um, we're going to see if we like that. And if we don't, we're going to we're going to change our minds real quick. All right. Oh, first off, I need to touch up. I don't have. And then here. Okay. I think that looks right. If it doesn't, it's going to be okay. You should paint her as a bunny. No, I'm not going to paint her as a bunny. I don't think so. I do think it's kind of cool though that she did how many what does it have like four on each side I think so I think there's like a four of these on each side maybe not that close together
six strings, three on each side. Okay. Well, Oop, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be messing up my stuff. We'll just take that one off. We'll fade that into the background. And no one will be the wiser that it was ever even there. See how that works. Be like, bad time to kill me, Lucille. Okay, there we go. Or make it a 12 string. I, we'll just stick with six. <laughs> we just stick with six. Seventy seven, yeah, no. Yeah, I knew she was seventy seven, seventy six, seventy seven, something like that. I think she's the same age as my mom. When was she born? Nineteen forty six or forty five? She does still look good too. She does. Of course, I saw where she she said something about um somebody said something about like there was an ad she saw like five hundred dollars looked like Dolly Parton or something like that. And she was like, she laughed and she was like, it's cost a lot of money to look this to look this good like I, I would take that on for a bargain like that's a bargain you can look like me for $500 I'm like I'm pretty sure you pay $500 a week to look like you <laughs> not just like a day 1946 year she's the worst thing year my mama was born <laughs> and so she does she does look good But yeah, I saw that interview where somebody asked her about that, or she made a mention of this commercial that she saw one time. And she was like, it's cost me a lot of money to look this good. All right, I'm avoiding it. But y'all know it's inevitable. Oh, oh, I see it to be narrower than that. Mm. 
No, I mean, uh, the beauty when it's all black, you could just erase it. How many wigs? Oh, she probably has. If I, I could even tell you hundreds, probably thousand wigs. I mean, you almost don't see her in the same wig twice. So you do that times however many. It's probably like 2,000, 3,000, 10,000. I have no idea. Like, I don't even know, like, I seriously don't know that you would even know what her real hair looks like. Like, has anybody seen her, her real hair? Yes, she does have a good sense of humor. She's a, I mean, I know she's a famous person and all of that, but she's a good person. Yeah, you know, she does the stuff with the kids and the books and the libraries. Um, she was. Um, never, I don't think. I don't think so either. I mean, probably the only person that's ever seen her real hair is like a family member. And probably only really close family members like her husband. <laughs> maybe, maybe. That's, that's a maybe. All right, I know what I'm gonna do and I'm not gonna do that one. I was thinking it might be easier to do that one first. But I honestly think that that's not true. See, that's why I was avoiding these things because these things are cleaning the ass. Yes, she has. She really has. She's just a good person. And yes, I did say it. I did say it. Y'all heard y'all heard me say it. Cause guys, this is pain. Don't let that brush fall flat because that's what happens. But I'm just gonna let that go. Actually, before, no, 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 I'm not gonna let that go. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't lost my mind. I don't want to do these first. That's not what I want to do. I don't want to have to no, 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 no. I forgot what a guitar looks like, guys. Hold up. Y'all almost, y'all almost, I mean, forget. I've been to Dollywood too. Dollywood is, is fun. It, it is so pretty, especially if you go like in the fall or you go like they have their um, like Halloween stuff. It's decorated so pretty. It's not really scary. It's just decorated like really fun fall stuff. And then if you go at Christmas time, decorated for Christmas, it's just gorgeous. All right. I'm not gonna do all that. We're just gonna make this up. I forgot my cross lines. I almost forgot them. Like, how did I almost forget them? I don't know, but I almost forgot them. I'm like, I would have been so mad at myself if I had forgotten them. And then I put all those other lines on and then completely had forgotten that. <clears throat> I've been so mad. When you're doing line work, Look where you're going, not where you've been. Don't look at your brush. Don't look where you're at. Don't, I mean, don't look where you're at. Don't look at your brush and don't look at where you've been. Look at where you're going. And then just strike that line. I don't know. 
know, maybe. That might be a good idea. I don't know what's happening. Um, I think you, my problem is I don't know that you'll be able to just get it in that spot. But I think it could be a good idea. We may have to do, we may have to play with some string or some fun stuff and see what we can do. Again, don't let your brush bend down. If you let it bend down, you get a thicker line. Keep that brush up. The more the the more straight up and the less pressure, the finer your line's gonna be. The more angled down and the more pressure, the wider your line is gonna be. So just remember that when you're doing this and keep that brush upright. That's cause you're not looking where you go when you're looking where you're at or you're looking where you've been. So if I look over here where I've been and I follow it, it's gonna be crooked. If I watch my brush, it's gonna be crooked. But if I look over here where I'm going, if I stay ahead of my brush with my eye line, with my eyesight, I stay ahead, it's straighter. Now these lines aren't perfectly straight. You put a ruler on them, they're not perfectly straight. But look where you're going, not where you've been. It's a lot to keep track of because you got like brush not at an angle, brush straight up, look where you're going, like, and just tell yourself all these things as you're doing it because if you do it wrong, like right there, I started wrong because I wasn't looking where I was going. Possibly, possibly you could just lay it on there and resin on top of them. I don't know how you would glue them down. Maybe glue, I don't know. That would be my only problem is like glue them down. Yeah, I move my whole hand, my whole arm moves. My whole arm moves. I don't try to just to move. I move my I move my whole arm. Like my whole. Because this is. For this short distance, you probably could just do your, you know, your arm or your wrist because it's just a very short distance, but I still am moving my whole, like my whole arm is moving. I'm getting a little wide, like that one right there went a little wide on me. Like I'm losing where my neck is because of the black on the background. Like a couple of those went a little wide. I'm just gonna take a little black and just go da 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 da. Rub it across there and, and make that go away. It's gone. I think you were. That's funny. All right, now that we have that. <clears throat> Now comes the long lines. And yes, this is a whole arm movement. Just 
straight up. I'm going to start with the, the ones that go right on the edge. And then I'm gonna move over and then I'll move over and then edge. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep them. I'm gonna try to keep them even. I don't know that I will. Okay. So this is my problem. I like to, but that's all right. I'm okay with the little spots that are a little bit bigger. I'm not going to fret with them because the more I fret with that to try to fix that, the more I'm going to mess it up. And it could just be a gleam of light coming off of the, the um, little string. Yes, yes, it is. I'm very much glad it's only six. <laughs> I'm like, I'm down with six. When you were like 12, I'm like, oh, I... No. Yeah, when Dave was like, or do 12. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Ah. Again, we're not worried about fixing it. If something gets really bad, we can go in and we can like try to fix a little bit of it. But you know what? For now, this is not bad. Like we're not we're not worried about it. Yeah, it does. And that's why I was like, it's not bad because it just looks like the light reflecting off of it. And you're going to get that even in like different, like, well, they don't really have it. But if I had another guitar to show you, you would see that very same thing. Not bad. A couple little areas that got a little wide, but it's like like Kelly was saying, it just kind of looks like um it just kind of looks like light bouncing off of it. Whew. That was a clinch your butt cheek moment. All right, high part over. These little pins though, these these little brushes. They are 
amazing when it comes to teeny tiny lines like that. These are actually nail art brushes that you can get from Amazon. But um, thank you. But those little tips that I just showed you about, about um, watching where you're going, Staying ahead, your eye ahead of your brush, not, not where you've been and not where you're at. Stay ahead of it. Move your whole arm. Don't try to do, don't try to come in and do this number because that's not going to work. And so those are the difference between, it's not perfect. And there's, there's some that are closer. It's a little wavy, but all in all, your eye just connects it and keeps it straight. When your eye looks at it, you see a straight line, even though it's not straight. Because your eye is just like amazing at what it'll fix for you. All right, let's work on our guitar a little bit since we got the hard part done. Whew. Let's give our guitar a little life. When I'm having a little, just a little light, a little dark, you know, a little lighter area, a little darker area. So we're going to do that. I'm just using a little of that sand gray with a little bit of that raw sienna. And we're going to bounce some light off of it. Of our guitar. I'm going to come in with a little more of this sienna now and go kind of over top of this just to darken it a little bit. Bring it into what we've got going. But we've got a lighter area right there that's coming in. We got to give our guitar a little bit of life, you know. And then if you take a little bit of that burnt umber and you mix it with that raw sienna, we're going to have a little darker area. Coming in here at this bottom part. We want to mix. We don't want it to be that dark. We just want it to be darker than the guitar. We don't want a guitar to look like it's outlined, even though that's exactly what we did. We want it to look like it's dimensional, right? Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of that raw sienna. I'm just gonna wrong brush, wrong brush, wrong brush.
Just put a little bit of detail in that. Not much. Just a little bit. What do y'all think? Do you want some details on there, your guitar? Or do you want it kind of plain-ish? I don't know. I honestly don't know what I want. I think we need something. I think we need something on that guitar. But I don't know what I want. So until I figure that out or until y'all tell me what you want, I'm going to give it a shadow. Because it's leaning against something, right? It's not just floating. So we're going to give it a little shadow. It's sitting on the floor. Trying to figure out how my light source is hitting it. I don't really know. Like that, maybe? Like that? No, I think it's coming in. I think it's going in more like, I don't know. This is my darker side, so. That looks good, I think. It's kind of leaning back against the wall, you know what I'm saying? So you're seeing a little bit probably a little too wide of a shadow there at the bottom but that's okay oh yeah that helps that okay now I now I got it going I got it cooking I got it cooking with gas now. I just have to figure it out. Okay. No comments about how we're going to dress it up? No comments about that? None? No opinions? Y'all got to have some opinions. Do we just leave it plain because it's, you know, kind of like a man cave? Or do we put like a little bit of a something, something on it? I don't know. I'm debating. They're usually playing. They usually are. Kind of like this one here.
just want to have a little bit more of a little highlight coming in on it where it's hitting it. But other than that, that's it, I guess. I guess that's it. Like, okay. That wasn't bad though, because I mean, we did this somewhat a little less than two hours. Not bad. And we have a beautiful background. I love that background. It kind of just, we were able to sort of just take that. I love how ours is a little different or it's a little like the blues and the greens and the reds and the oranges, but then there's this like little pop of dark blue in there like that. Okay, I think for the sides for this, just because it's got so much going on, I don't think anything we could put on it would be any better than just straight up black. If y'all have another opinion, tell me now. Tell me, tell me, tell me now. You could put their name on it. You could, you could personalize it to them. If you were giving it to somebody that you knew, like, you know, you could put their name on it or like if you knew they liked a particular um, symbol, you could put that on it. I mean, I don't I don't know, like a butterfly <laughs> or a whatever. <clears throat> you know, a rose or whatever, you know, I mean, everybody has their thing they like. You could personalize it that way also. Um, you know, the thing that just speaks to them. I don't know what my thing, my symbol is. It speaks to me. I don't think I have something like that. But I know lots of people do. Kind of like if you were going to do it for Dolly, you would put that butterfly up on it. Mm -hmm. This was a fun paint. I'm glad. I'm glad I was inspired by Dee, who said her husband made those guitars. <clears throat> I was like, that'd be a fun thing to paint for a man cave. Make it a little, a little vibrant. We're going to see what this looks like if we like this black. I think we're going to like it. Plus it covers up any kind of like runovers you may have gotten from when you did the um all of that water. This is an 8 by 16. You could get these at Dick Blick. We all think y'all like that. She does need to post pictures of those made from um, cigar boxes. I agree. I would love to see one because that just sounds so, um, just so downright cool. Like, I have never heard of that before. I'm going to show you all the piece for the private group. I'm a, I'm a little late on it. I know, but it'll be out 
in a probably tomorrow actually i'm gonna see if i can get the video done i gotta edit video because i did it upstairs and i'll tell you what kind of as bad as he could be so part of me is yelling at him on the video <laughs> I got to edit all that out. Because he was just being a bad boy. Didn't want to be good. Didn't want to um, behave himself. He likes all the attention. He's just a, a little bit spoiled. But between him and Yo-Yo, as soon as he settles down and behaves himself, Yo-Yo has to go and call him, basically, makes this noise and calls him. And then they're at it again. Oh, that black is perfect. Um, she helped me for a little bit one day for like two hours and then and then it's been like she's had a lot going on though she's has some um she has a competition uh next week with this weekend my birthday weekend and so she's been doing a lot of practice to time so not really yet <laughs> I swear, I'm like, <sighs> so hopefully after the competition and after prom, because then it's going to be all about getting ready for prom for the next weekend, she can help me a little more, get caught up on some stuff I need help with. But there it is, done. And I'm in love with it, guys. I'm in love with it. Actually, I didn't think I was going to like this. I really didn't. I really did not, wasn't sure. I mean, I knew like it would be a great man cave thing, but I didn't realize how much I was going to like it for me. I hope y'all do this, though. I really do. I'll have a tracer. I'll get the chaser out for my group. Um, let me turn it up. But here it is. And like I said, you could put anything on it. If you're if you're a man that you're going to paint this for, or you or whoever is into certain like symbols or certain things, you could you could incorporate that in. Um, you know, we were talking about possibly it being Dolly's uh, guitar. You could put a butterfly up on that. You could do all kinds of things with this. I think it could go any way you wanted it to go. But look at the runs that we have in that paint from where we did the water. Look at how the splotches of paint are. I'm glad you really like it. And so... Thank you, Cindy. I think it I think it turned out it turned out much better than I expected in my in my mind's eye that I was seeing it turned out better, which is always a good thing, right? And here is the for this month's piece, what it'll be for the group. And yes, everyone in the group can paint this. It is not hard. I walk you through step by step. You have a tracer, you'll have the supply list of course you can use any paints you want to use thank you Ari but Brenda I used it if I'm missing I've gone fishing Lord it took me three times three times to get that lettering on that sign <laughs> like three times <laughs> I had to like wipe it off, redo it, and put it back on. 
And so, but anyway. <laughs> you saw that? <laughs> you saw that I had to do it three times? Anyway, but there it is. It's a lot of fun. And I hope you do it. Um, you know, I use three lures from um, Ted's Tackle Box. And, and of course the little bobbing thing, um, but um, you could go to your hubby's uh, tackle box and take three uh, ones and do it in its place of these three. So, um, but anyway, there it is. Finally, <laughs> it's done. I got to get a tracer from it. I'm going to get a tracer from this. I do have some other tracers that are done. I got to get the supply list though. And I've got to go back and watch the video. I haven't had time to go back and watch the video to get the supply list from the videos. So I've got to go back and do that because it's just like, whew, I don't have, I haven't had time to sit down and listen to myself. And sorry, I saw a bunch of white on that side. Um, I don't, I don't like it when it gets, when it's not in the, gets down in that grooves. Anyway, well, I'm going to say good night. Oh, I meant to ask y'all. So I can't do Friday, Friday is lunchtime. Do you want me to do tomorrow lunchtime? I can do that. I could move Friday's to Thursday and we could do our painting tutorial then or have some fun then on the page um or if not i'll see you on i guess um saturday go vote for the calendar piece i've put up several pictures yes yeah <laughs> okay so we can plan tomorrow at lunchtime to do that um and um Hey, Teresa, how are you? Hopefully you're having a great night. And so this is what we did tonight. Um, uh, but we, um, so I will plan on doing that tomorrow at lunchtime. We'll have a Thursday lunchtime painting tutorial instead of a Friday lunchtime um and then if i can come live friday we will and we'll do something fun i don't know what but um you know in the afternoon but it'll be not at lunchtime thank you teresa anyway 11 30. uh i gotta check my time but uh i i let me check my calendar i'll i'll make a post you know i'll do the plan on going live it'll either be 11 30 or it'll be uh 12. And so I don't know. I've got to see what meetings I have um, and beforehand. For the life of me, I can't think of that I have any. So it might be. Anyway, I don't know. Um, I know I have tomorrow afternoon. And that's what I need to check to see what time I'm tomorrow afternoon. If it's like 1 o'clock, then I will do 1130. If it's after that, I will do 12 because it makes it easier. Anyway. All right. I'll see you later. Y'all have a good night. Bye.